I've always drawn, I've always sketched all through high school and my childhood. Um, I started airbrushing in A&P school, um, which was a great opportunity to, you know, broaden my artistic ability. And then that kind of rolled over into the opportunity to do a mural like the one here in Pikeville. So my uh, first mural was a, a small Blackhawk in the break room of, you know, my job as an aircraft mechanic. So I, it was probably like eight by 10 foot, which was not huge, but that kind of gave me a good platform for, you know, opening to a larger mural. So I have done three large murals, two here in Pipeville, one currently in Somerset on the Chamber of Commerce. This one in Pikeville on the back side of the theater actually took me around 72 to 75 hours. Um, it took seven days and uh, you know some days I work like eight hours, some days were like 14 hours and I would work all through the night. And um, so I had to use vacation from work to actually do this, which was, you know, for some people were like, oh man, I can't believe you do that, but this is such a good opportunity, I can't pass it up. And you know, my wife and kids are very supportive and they were, you know, more power to me, you know. So I'm just happy to be able to do this. So it's Jonesy and Rosanna, and it was trying to capture the love story of their, you know, history. As you know, they had a bad relationship and uh, fallen out with the family. So he is embracing her with uh, a bundle of flowers behind her and the flower petals actually turn into broken hearts. And um, if you stand, see, to the left of the mural and look at it at an angle, the mountains in the background here in Pike County actually line up with the mountains in the mural, which is insane because I didn't even know like until later when I was taking pictures of it, like I gotta capture this, you know, I gotta get a good photo. And it ended up just working out perfect. The only training I've had from day one is my mom bringing a pencil and pad to every event and everything we ever done. And that's the only thing I wanted to do was draw. So honestly, like these murals and everything I've done is fake it till you make it. I mean, it's just winging it and so as far, it's been successful. It's a good opportunity for small businesses too because you know when you get somebody to actually stop and take a picture with a mural in your area they wonder you know what else does downtown have to offer so they they end up you know I'm thirsty I'm gonna go check out this place and these small mom-and-pop shops in the area that you normally wouldn't drive to or have a reason to go downtown to see it causes them it causes traffic a lot of people say like starving artists, those people are 100% into their art, which is great. But a lot of people like myself, I now have a family, I can't do that. So I have pursued aviation to, you know, take care of everything that needs to be taken care of. But my passion for art shows through in every opportunity I get. So, you know, I wouldn't call myself like an artist 100%. I'm, I'm a, a family man. But, you know, anybody can do this. It just takes, you know, passion. And uh, even if you don't have the ability, if you keep doing it, you will have the ability. I mean, with anything, any talent, it can be learned. I have a Facebook page. It's um, Justice Airbrushing. And um, I mean, I can do pretty much anything as long as like uh, my time is, you know, I'm time restraint with working and everything. But I also have an Instagram page and it's Jordan Justice Art. 
and I'm in the process of starting a website, which will also be Jordan Justice Art, to push the younger generation to pursue their dreams just by it seeing, just glancing at one of my murals is amazing. Like it's a great, you know, a great feeling.